So Thomas, here we are in the Sloan Street store ahead of the, the new reopening this evening. The thing that interests me most about your work, I think, is that Bottega Veneta is such a heritage brand, so, so definitively luxurious, mm -hmm. and yet your collections every season are so new and fresh mm -hmm. and unique every time. How do, you, how do you balance that newness with heritage? With the type of product, you know, and uh, the type of quality we work in, I think you want to come back to a place and, and see there what you have bought in the past. And at the same time, you want to go and discover something that you didn't expect to see. So I think the two work together and are as important one than the other. Specifically your autumn winter collection that we've just seen. Can you talk to us a little bit about what you were doing with that collection? This, uh, you know, it's about exploring. I start with colors, I go into material, I work a lot on fabrics, a lot, a lot. I find that very interesting. Uh, sometimes print, that collection did have print. And then it goes from there into shape. And shape, when everything comes together, as said, you know, the most interesting is how to technically make things because I am really obsessed with uh, making a, a garment that is extremely light and it is kind of almost floating on the body and uh, has a certain sensuousness to it rather than uh, sexiness. But I mean for all products, you know, I'm feeling like that. If we talk about the bag, it's the same thing. If we talk about a piece of jewelry, for me there has to be a certain way how thing, you know, links move, how facets reflect, how gold is finished.
you tell me, what was your plan when you first arrived here a decade ago? What were you going to do with the label? Well, my idea was to um, focus on product, you know, focus on uh, design and create a product that is uh, recognizable rather by the way it is made than uh, by uh, a logo 